Don't take it. How are you? Oh, sorry, teacher. No, it's yeah. okay. No problem. Yeah. Mac it's mute. Yes. Okay. How was the day? Uh, so, so, uh, um, the, my job is in home. Oh, okay, good. Well, and the, so much job this day. Okay, good. Where do you work? Uh, I am psychologist. Ah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. So you you work in your own office at yes. home. It's okay. a new it's a new job, a new uh, new job and new. Uh, what say? Is it retos? Challenge. Challenge. Okay, challenge. Challenge. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. uh, never. Never I uh, I work this form. <laughs> yes. Never. It's very yeah. I mean, it's classes too, you know. And then it before probably is a little bit, but now it's every day, right? That you have to be connected and yes, uh, it's, 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 yes, it's, it's different. It's a challenge, like you say. It's a challenge. Uh, therapies are, are not. Uh, uh, the same are not working in this form oh, really? it's, new. It's, it's new why but the the therapies uh, work for the persons uh, eye to eye view to view mm -hmm. never in line yes only face to face face to face yes mm -hmm. okay yes it's an it's a new um new form of, of of work in this profession mm -hmm. and it's difficult for you or for the let's say for the patient in this case uh, the first months are very difficult mm -hmm. very difficult and okay. uh, uh, the person uh, the person say uh, work with me say uh, it's a new a new form for for work in this form yes yes it's the the new reality yes <laughs> or yes. normality right the new normality uh -huh. they call but i don't know yeah. if it is something new i think it's is for some time right it's but it's gonna take probably well, next year, I don't know. It, does, it doesn't see to be very promising, right? The, mm -hmm. changes, the changes are not going to be in January, right? Yes. That means that probably in January, people will be, you know, hesitating, right? From the Dudando, right? Still, if, yes. uh, uh, because uh, we don't uh, know. Yes. Uh, 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 the new platforms for work, this 
Um, I am the my generation is analogous. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, not, di no, digital. not digital. Not digital. Uh -huh. Yes. So we have, uh -huh. you know, we have uh, migrated into this, uh, uh, let's say, generation. I uh, I I move in, in between analogous and digital. Yes, that's true. And then I mm -hmm. think uh, I think that, uh, it it happened the same. It's being a little bit difficult, okay? It's being a little difficult, but, uh, you know, with the practice and the constant changes yes. in technology, uh -huh. so we have to adapt, right, to, to, the, to the, the digital generation. It's and a then, new time. Yes, it's a new time. You see the children or the young people and you know they they know but but you know but there is one thing that uh, then this uh, digital generation or this generation that has more uh, let's say uh, access to technology mm -hmm. they there are many things they know how to use a cell phone they know how to use uh, a computer and they know how to use the remote control of a tv they know how to use everything but uh, but if you ask them to to prepare a report in Word, Excel, uh, things like that, it's difficult for them to use those uh, like those tools, okay? Because uh, because it's not the same for them. Because they are just only to okay to push buttons, okay? And they have magic, okay? Mm -hmm. If they want to listen to music, ah, Spotify, uh -huh. just for the music. If they want, uh, or they yeah. go to iTunes. Yeah. If they want to they want to watch movies ah netflix okay but uh but if you tell them to to probably to find a way to fix something it's more difficult for them right yeah in our the case first, the first is the first uh, the first meet in in zoom is was terrible for me okay yeah. yes you know that's... I, I i don't know i, I don't know the, the platform the tools and the nothing. Yes, you didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's, I mean, the, I mean, but you know, that's the 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 nice thing about this, right? That little by little, you know, we have uh, come into the let's say into the the game of technology, right? For example, you know, probably a couple of years ago, I didn't know about Zoom. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about a, hang, a, a Google Meet, okay? And now I use uh, Teams from Microsoft. Teams. I, I also, Teams I, is very popular. Uh-huh, I use Zoom. That is also very popular too. Now a Google Meet, okay, it's another one that we're using. And there was another one from Google too, it's uh, Jitsi, I guess, I guess, yes, Jitsi. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there are different platforms, you know, that, that we are using nowadays. Yeah. I guess that, you know, that is something that is, is difficult, but and sometimes I feel classes, like you say, for example, like the, your yeah. job and in the teachers, beginning, the, the, in the beginning, beginning is, is difficult. Yes. And not only for, the, in, not only in this case, for example, not only for teachers, also for some students, mm -hmm. right? You know, because uh, not everybody has the conditions so everybody has a cell phone. Every probably many many people have a computer, yes. but uh, not everybody has the the proper environment in the house or in the office to be in a nice place to receive a class, right? So that is another another issue. Some people yes. are working, some people are driving. So very interesting topic. Okay. Very extensive. <laughs> very extensive. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Hello, Arely. Why so serious, Arely? Huh? Why so serious? You are like you are like, <laughs> like you look like you look like a picture. I get it. <laughs> okay, good. Hi, Carol. How are you, Carol? Um, uh, so so. <laughs> so so tired. Yes, tired. tired. Yeah. Yes. Don't worry. The traffic yeah. jam is terrible. Okay. Um, what what time did you get to your house today? Um, two, two hours. 
two hours. Two hours, yes. Okay. And what time do you arrive? Um, Six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock? No. Uh, the, the work is out five o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, get to a house? Get to a house. Hace 15 minutos. Bien. 15 minutes. <laughs> yes. Desde las 5. Desde las 5. Wow, my goodness. Yes. And where, 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 are, where do you live? I live in Soyapango. Ah, okay. And you work? Uh, I work in uh, Carretera Panamericana. So it's a big, long, I mean, it's a long way, right? Yes. Yes, that's why. <laughs> and in the morning, it's the same. Yes, in the morning, it's the same. So it's just four hours traveling, commuting. Cuatro horas de viaje, ¿y de Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, I understand, Caro. It's a big sacrifice, okay? <laughs> By a helicopter. También va a haber tráfico. Yes, pretty soon you're going to find some traffic too. Yes. Okay, yes, traffic is terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. It's horrible, terrible. Terrible. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So there we have now, what do we have today? Yesterday we finished with the listening, right? I guess this listening was about who's my date or something like that, right? Yes. Yes, okay, this was the audio about about Brian, Tina, yes, we did, we finished it. Then, uh, today we have the, the participle with prepositions, right, to describe people. And then listen to this conversation here. Look at the party, okay. You can see this man in green, this man with a glass in his hand. You're using prepositions, right? Uh, the woman is standing by the window. Okay, the man, the man, the blonde man talking to the woman with glasses. Okay, these are different prepositions. Let's see here. Yes. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. The sound. Okay, here. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a <clears> conversation <throat> where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Okay, questions about vocabulary first. New Hi, Raul. Good to see you. New words. Check the vocabulary, see if you have any new expressions, new words. Which one is? Cual. Cual. Mm -hmm. 
Which one? What else? Having glasses over there. No, it doesn't look. Okay, if you have more, yes. Okay, now listen. See you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Oh, well, why don't... All right. Okay, Enrique, you are Raul. Yeah, Carol. Carol, you read the part of Liz. Okay, okay. Hi, Ron. Good, good to see you. Where am I? Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the she's the tall one in jeans. She's studying near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, very good. Excellent. No problem with the pronunciation. Very good. Okay, Adelie, now you are Liz and Joel, you are Raul. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall, the tall one is jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, very good, excellent, nice. Okay, Norma, you are Liz, and David, you are Raul. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oops. David? David? Are you there? Okay, probably he has a problem with the internet or the microphone. Yes, Suli, can you read the part of Raul? Probably later, Baby Connects. Hello, Suli. Hi. Yes. Okay, so you are, you are Raul, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, repeat uh, again. Yes, start again. Okay. again Hi, Okay, okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she could make it. She went to concert with Alice. Oh well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is he? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the windows. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, oh, I like to meet her. Okay, yes. Uh, the pronunciation, um, the word is she's standing near the window or mm. the window. The window, the window, the window. The window. Okay. And she's standing near the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The. Yep. Okay. 
Yes. Uh, the pronunciation the come 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 in negative. Mm, 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 uh, the, the conversation. Couldn't, couldn't. Ah, this one? Couldn't. couldn't. Uh -huh. No, she couldn't. No, she, oh, she couldn't. She couldn't make it. She couldn't. She make couldn't. It. La, the letter L, la L es muda, couldn't, couldn't, como que la L, couldn't, no couldn't, no couldn't, it's couldn't, ok, couldn't make it, couldn't make it, couldn't make it, ok, yes, she couldn't make it, couldn't make it, Okay, then for example, this is when, uh, where's Maggie? You know, somebody, ah, she couldn't make it. No pudo venir. Okay, eh, traducido literalmente sería como something like, no pudo lograrlo, right? No pudo, no la hizo. No pudo hacerla. Mm -hmm, no pudo okay? hacerla. But then you say, for example, here, eh, no pudo venir. She couldn't make it. And depends on the context, right? Depends on the context. She couldn't make it. All right, she went to a concert with Alex. Okay, no puedo venir porque fue a un concierto. So, different activity. Okay, no more questions? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, listen again, and then we go. Try to, to the identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. I like to meet her. Okay. Then the next one is, in this session you will learn to use modifiers with particles and prepositions. Now listen to the explanation of that video. Hello again, in this session we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay. Hello again. In this now listen a second time and take notes. Session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. 
When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. With ing, but they are not verbs. They okay, this is probably the, the thing that is new that we say. Wearing a green shirt, in this case, it is used as a preposition, right? Not acting as a, a, as a verb, because you can... They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. Then here say he's the man wearing. No, he is wearing, right? Because when we use the man wearing a green shirt, the one talking to, to, to Liz, okay, who is the, let's say for example, the man, you don't see here the verb to be. The man is wearing a green shirt. Ahí estamos hablando del presente continuo, right? But in this case, if you omit his, you say the man wearing a green shirt is my brother. The man talking to Liz is my friend. Okay, the, the man uh, learning uh, English is my student. Okay, or oh, the girl speaking English is my boss. Or oh, the girl uh, speaking English is my best friend. So in this case, it's not a verb, it's a participle. Okay, como un adjetivo. Good. And here you have, she's the woman with preposition, with short black hair, the tall, the tall one in jeans. For example, uh, you say the, the woman with short black hair is my wife. The woman with, uh, the woman in jeans is my mother, okay? The woman in jeans or in dress is my sister. So this is with prepositions. Next to is a preposition and on is also a preposition. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Hello again in this session. Black hair. Which one is he's the man wearing a green? Okay, questions? Any questions about the last new structures? Ready for the practice? Uh. What is wearing? Wearing? Uh -huh. What are you wearing in this moment? Okay, for example, look at the, look at the, look at your screen. Who, who is the, who is, for example, um, who is the teacher? Who is the teacher? Look at the, in your computer. Who is the teacher? Si alguien, si alguien le pregunta a usted quién es el, quién es el profesor ahorita, ¿qué le diría usted? Ah, ok. ¿Quién es el teacher? Eh, the man. Is the man is wearing. He's wearing ah, okay. a yellow shirt. Wearing a yellow shirt. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, wearing black. Glasses. Wearing glasses. Uh -huh. Is the man wearing glasses? But there are two. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is the man wearing glasses and a green shirt or a yellow shirt? Okay. Okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, also Joel is wearing glasses. Enrique is wearing glasses too. Okay. 
Si usted solo dice eh, wearing glasses, le va a, van a decir, ah, pero hay tres. Right? Enrique, Joel, and I. But if you say the men wearing glasses and uh, a green shirt, or the men wearing a green shirt, okay? Just when you're talk. talking to this. Uh -huh. Exactly, the man, the man that is talking to me. Okay, so that is. Then uh, wearing in this case is us, usa, usando, right? Usando, vistiendo. The man mm -hmm. wearing. Okay, el que tiene una. Okay, camisa amarilla. That would be wearing. Talking to Liz is hablando. Talking to? Uh-huh. Uh, talking to Liz is the one talking to another person. Okay, for example, uh, if you see to, uh, si alguien pregunta, who is, who is Arely? Uh, Arely is the lady talking to the teacher. Okay, talking to the teacher, talking to Luis. Okay, that's my name. Then you identify the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, who is Raul? He is the man wearing... The man wearing a green shirt. Okay, es el hombre o el yes, es el hombre que está el que tiene, diría en Spanish, el, el que está de camisa en Spanish we will say el que está de camisa verde. Right? Okay. Así He's lo decimos. The man wearing a green shirt. Ajá. Eh, then who is Raul? Ah, el que está hablando con Liz. Okay, the one ah. talking to Liz. Okay, he's the one talking to this. Eh, continues the sentence. Uh -huh. Aha, yes. Okay. This, yeah. this one goes with this. This one goes with this. Lo han separado para que ustedes vean que esto no es, eh, para explicar que esto no es acción, que no es verbo en ING, sino que se está usando acá como okay. un adjetivo. Okay. That's the only difference. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Then you have the preposition, and here is the same. Who is Liz? She's the, She's woman the woman with short black short hair. hair. Which one is Julia? She's yeah. the tall woman in jeans. Who, who are the Smith? They are the people next to, next the, window. to the window. Which ones Smith. are the Smith? Smith? They are the yeah, ones on the couch. couch. What is couch? Sofa. It's a sofa. Ah, okay. Okay, it's a couch, sofa. Shirt. Which one is Raul? The people next to the window. Participles, this is how, but they are not verbs. They are at how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use preposition. Okay, another example of uh, ing forms like adjectives is. ¿Cómo dicen ustedes en inglés? How do you say el equipo de natación? Swimming teach. ¿Da? Swimming team. Swimming team. Swimming team. Swimming team. Ajá. Ahí también el swimming, el ing, está como un adjetivo. Okay, swimming, swimming team. team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, eh, si ven acá, demos el rescue team. Okay, un equipo de rescate, un equipo de natación, right? Eh, running, running team. Okay, un equipo de corredores. Right, running team. Soccer team. Ajá, uh -huh. en tenemos soccer team. Si ¿Sí ven, son adjetivos, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. No options. Okay. Soccer team. Eh, también cuando dicen, let me see. Interesting. 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 Book. Interesting book. Un libro interesante. Ajá. No está como interesando, ¿verdad? Interesante. Ajá. Interesting book. Interesting mm. book. Yes. When add 
In. Mm -hmm. Frustrating. Uh, let's say frustrating experience. Frustrating experience. Okay, so that. Experiencia frustrante. Ajá, frustrante. Okay. Entonces ahí los ing aparecen como verbos, como adjetivos, perdón. Adjetivo. Okay. Let's see. It is a frustrating experience. Mm -hmm. All right. Entonces, eso es para que ya conozcan que hay algunas veces, dependiendo del contexto. For example, look at this. I am swimming in the beach. In the. Solo, solo vean. In the. In the. In the swimming pool with the ¿Cuál es el verbo de esos tres swimming? Yo estoy nadando de far. De far. I am swimming. Okay, Suli. Don Twister, un, un trabajo güey. <laughs> Where's <laughs> I am swimming in the swimming pool with the swimming twin. Okay, very good. Okay. Yeah, you're the representative. I am swimming in the swimming pool with the swimming team. Okay, I am swimming in the swimming pool with the swimming team. Entonces, eso es una. Estoy nadando con en la piscina con el equipo de natación. Right, so then you see, but if you see, only the first one is the verb and the other two. Adjective. Adjectives, uh -huh. swimming pool. Okay, because there are different oils, right? Pool. Sí. Okay, in this case, it's for swimming. Swimming pool. Uh -huh. And the swimming team. Okay, mm -hmm. this is with this team that swims. Okay. Okay, so then these are the when you listen to uh, participles, so I'm in contact with this. Uh, eh, wearing, ing, y hay otros que terminan con ed. Ok. Y que son also adjectives. Esto no es parte del programa, pero para qué. Versus. You say, I am. Eh, let me see. I am. Uh, um. This appointed. Yes, que los participios son I am disappointed. I am disappointed. This is disappointing. Okay. Estoy como desilusionado. Okay. Y esto es. ¿Cuál sería la palabra de for disappointing? Algo que no les llena o no les satisface. En Spanish. Seccionante. Which one? Decepcionante. Decepcionante, sí. Ok, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. A ver, no he encontrado la palabra. Then you say, for example, that I am disappointed. Estoy decepcionado. Esto es decepcionante. Okay, entonces, ING es lo que, lo que provoca algo hacia uno y con el ED uno expresa cómo se siente. Okay, you can say, I am frustrated. And this is frustrating. Okay. For example, Carol, he was driving for two hours and I don't know how long. Then that is frustrating, right? No, teacher, it's a no driving. It's a bus. Oh, well, <laughs> yes. right. Then riding, riding. Imagine, yeah, right? It's frustrating. Yes or no? 
Yes. It's frustrante, right? That you cannot do anything. So they say, oh my God, this is frust the traffic is frustrating. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I read a book in uh -huh. the traffic. <laughs> yes, because the traffic is frustrating. I sleep. And mm. Okay. No. <laughs> you can't sleep. You can't I sleep. read a book. <laughs> and then the other one is... Algo más positivo, I am excited. Estoy emocionado, right? I am excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, or this is exciting. Exciting. Emocionante. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Cuando uno ve jugar a la selección contra Estados Unidos, es exciting. Okay. <laughs> que les met, nos meten seis goles, they say, right? So then I am excited. So this is exciting. Exciting is when you see something that you like, right? Algo que los emociona, right? That is exciting. Okay? No problem? No problem. Okay, esto no lo van a ver ahorita, pero ya lo llevan adelantado, right? In case you need it. Thank you. Okay, good. So yeah. then, uh, this is it. Now let's do... Um, Okay, here is a modifier with pa participle and prepositions. Here, the knowledge check. Okay, uh, let me see. Tamara, can you please read the instructions here? Tamara, are you there? Okay. David? Okay. Areli, can you please read? Uh, rewrite the sentence using modify with participles or prepositions. Our prepositions. Okay, good. And Suli, can you read the examples? Okay, um, follow the example. Mary is the, is the beautiful girl. She is getting by the door. Okay, good. Continue. Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door. Okay, look. In this exercise, you have to be, okay, to observe. Observe the details, right? In the first example, there are two sentences. Mary is a beautiful girl. Sentence one, okay? Sentence two, she's standing by the door. Okay? Then, with the two sentences, you have to make only one, this one. Mary is the beautiful girl, okay, similar, then we omit, she is, okay, you omit this part. Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. then you see, for example, cuál es la el uso de esto que esta estructura que estamos viendo el inglés suena más fluido las ideas fluyen más right because you said Mary is the beautiful girl she's standing by the door she's my friend uh, she lives in, near my house and, uh, yeah, they, like sentence 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 and you stop and stop okay but when you use this you say Mary is the beautiful girl is standing by the door and she is my neighbor, she lives in front of my house. Okay, then you speak in a, let's say in a more fluent manner, okay? Good. Then, uh, Enrique. Yes. Can you please, uh, let's see, read the first sentence here, the first two sentences. Okay. Clark is a child guy. 
He's wearing a bottom-down shirt and cargo pants. In cargo pants. What is the sentence? Clark is tall guy. Mm -hmm. Wearing a bottom. Wearing a bottom. A bottom down shirt and She's cargo, in pants. cargo pants. Omit his. Omit his. Mm -hmm. Omit his. Yeah. Clark is a tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about the second one? Hey, Suli, can you read it? Adam and Lowe's are the good looking couple. Couple. Are... Couple. 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 Mm -hmm. They are talking tongue. Okay. And now the correct sentence. Adam and Lowe's. Adam and Lowe's. Um, are they good? They are talking to Tom. Uh -huh. Adam and Luz are? The good looking couple. The, the good looking couple. Mm -hmm. um, talking to talking Tom. To Tom. Talking, to Tom. talking to Tom. Adam and Luz are the good looking couple. Talking, talking to, Tom. to Tom. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Norma, how about yours? And number three? Number three. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Is line, line is the younger. She's in a strip, t-shirts, and blue jeans. Okay. The answer, Le the answer is... Uh -huh. Lane is the young girl in a strip a teacher and blue jeans. A striped teacher and blue jeans. Okay, very good. Mm. Yes. Lane is a young girl in a striped t shirt and blue jeans. That's correct. Young girl. Okay. There you go. What Perfect. is striped? Stripe? Uh, do you know the zebras? Uh, do you know the animal? Similar to the horse, the zebras. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, and they have a stripe, black and white, black and white, black and white, yes? Okay, the pyjamas, <laughs> the pyjamas too. Okay, it says rayado, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Stripe. a rayas, we can say, right. Okay, good, uh, let's see who else, who else, who else? Uh, Enrique, number four. Ben Jessica, Haro, mm -hmm. Jessica is uh, the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonia. Jessica is the attractive woman. Sitting to the left of Antonia. Sitting to the left of Antonia. Okay, good. Carol, number five. AJ. NJ is the serious looking boy. He is listening to his new salsa CDs. Um, AJ um, is. Is the serious? Is the serious? Um, Only on the kiss. Only. Uh, uh, is a serious looking. Okay. AJ is the serious looking boy. Listening to his. Listening to mm -hmm. the new salsa. Okay. If you see, we complete the first sentence, it's complete, right? Up okay. to here. Okay. Right. And then we omit his. His. And then we use the adjective, listening to. to okay, the AJ. Subject, and they? Uh -huh, we we, we the subject and verb. And the, and the verb, and then exactly. The verb. Okay, uh -huh, verb. And then we use his listening, okay? Mm -hmm. is AJ well, is the... the uh -huh. Uh -huh, no, there. Uh, AJ is the serious looking boy. Uh 
uh -huh. listening to his new salsa CD. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Aquí, aquí está con, en la segunda oración. Aquí mm -hmm. sí está listening como verbo. Uh -huh. Él está escuchando. Pero uh -huh. cuando ya las unimos, ok, aquí se pierde esto como verbo y se omite el, el auxiliar y el, y el subject. Uh -huh. Ya este queda como adjetivo. En okay. ese, ella es the serious looking boy listening uh -huh. okay, to his new salsa city. Okay. And if you see, in, in all of them, en todas las que se omitió fue el sujeto, el, el sujeto. y el verbo auxiliar. He is, okay, the or, second sentence. Uh -huh, from the second sentence. From okay. the second sentence. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, let's check. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we see they are correct. Okay, and then uh, in, when we use this uh, kind of sentence, remember that our English will sound more fluent. Okay, the, the ideas, esa es una fluidez de ideas, y no estar poniendo un punto al final de cada oración que decimos, right? So then it say, AJ is the serious good looking boy. He is listening to his new salsa CD. He is playing the guitar. He is talking to, no, okay. AJ is the serious good uh, looking boy, listening. Y si está haciendo más acciones, listening uh, we, and wearing a red, listening to his new CDs and wearing a red shirt. Como evitar la cacofonía, es, ajá, de algo así como la repetición de, de oraciones uh -huh. o hablar así como muy pausado, right? Like sentence by sentence, okay? Then that's another one. Entonces uh -huh. esto le da una, una, digamos, como una fluidez a, la, a, la, a toda la idea. Okay, that, yeah, here we are describing, he is the serious looking boy, okay, el chico que se ve serio y que está escuchando los CDs, right? Yeah. Okay, oye los CDs. So then you are describing the person. Okay? Teacher. Yes. I need you help in the exercise for... Uh, for what? Uh, 11. For. for 11? No, antes. I... This is... It's a... It's a, it, uh, let me see, it's a knowledge check. Uh, when you use um, how long, how tall. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. This one. Yes. The first sentence is correct. Uh, the first sentence, answer. how old. Mm -hmm. Here you have this says, write the questions to match these statements, right? Uh, here, you have to write the questions, but no the question mark. No. Okay, si usted le pone el question mark alguna, o si tiene, aquel día me, dijero, me dijo alguien por ahí. How cuando, old is your brother? En los Así espacios, le pero si le ha dado más, más de un espacio. Ah. Mira, Voy a revisar. Alguien me dijo ahí, aquel día, ¿se acuerda que yo me había eh, dado más de un espacio? Y va a ver lo que sucede. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Mira, y me salió mal, ¿ve? Entonces, yeah, teacher. Oh, for that space. Y si le quito el espacio. Y tiene que ponerle las, y si, si es este mayúscula y las demás minúsculas, right? Uh -huh. Y que no vaya a haber tampoco aquí otro espacio. Okay. Because. Okay, bueno, aquí sí lo aceptó. Pero en medio entre palabras no. Okay. Only first answer. Okay. Only first. Thank you. All right. Teacher. Yes. I need help. Mm -hmm. And the exercise in this moment. Okay. Este. Perfect. Me salen malas y las he escrito así como usted las hizo. ¿Será por la eh, se, que tiene entre? Eh, veamos, Clark is the tall guy wearing, wearing a button. Si no puso esta rayita, 
también puede hacer que esté Ajá. mal el, 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 el guión. Sin espacio, tiene, sin espacio, ¿verdad? Y, sí, y sin espacios. El punto okay. también. Ah. Y el punto final. Ok. Ah. Tiene que tener, vea las mayúsculas, ok, has to be capital letters, no spaces. Si llevan estos hyphens, estos guiones. Sin espacio. Ajá, sin espacio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Mire, sin espacio. Quiero ver, veamos qué pasa si, si veamos. Ok, chaval, ven. si ya le dice uh -huh. espacio, ya no se lo acepta. Uh -huh. Entonces... Aunque esté correcto. Ok, acá, yes. Ok, Porque y... Según la, gran, la ortografía tiene que ir unida. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Está correcto. Exactamente, ya si usted lo separa, está incorrecto. Uh -huh. Ok, solo que cuando uno lo hace más, ese, esa distancia no es, no es visible como en, una, en algo digital. Uh -huh. eh, sí, el punto también, right, the period. Here you have the same. Aquí t-shirt. Lleva la T. Solo quiero ver si pasa si usamos. No, aquí no, aquí no le penaliza las. Eh, si es mayúscula o minúscula. No problem. Ok. Can be this one. Eh, pero si sí todavía llevan period al final, mire. Mm -hmm. Then we have Jessica, let's see what else can it be. Antonio, yes, period. Period. Ajá, todavía llevan period. Period es el punto final, right? El period. Punto final. Period. Okay. Uh, period. Nice it's time. different points. Ajá, yes. El point, el point se ocupa para un punto de vista, point of view, un punto de encuentro. O en números. En números, 3.3, mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pero acá en, en escritura dice period. Period. Ah, aquí es el punto. Ok. Eh, How period. right. ¿Mm? How right, period. Period, yes. Ah, right, period, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Period. So let's chat, chat here. Period. Ah. Wait, wait. Period. Como period. Period. Uh -huh. Period. Period. That's it. Thank you. Pe period. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Period. In the pronunciation. Perdón. In the uh, calificación. Point. Para números. Uh -huh. Points. Point. Por ejemplo, saqué 8.3, 8.3. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, mm -hmm. 10.0, 9.0. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Eh, any other question? No, no doubts. Ok. Eh, then, tomorrow we are going to start with the uh, uh, section 5. Y vamos a tener unas prácticas, ¿ok? Con verbos and sentences, ¿ok? Using this uh, wearing, uh, prepositions, ¿ok? So then, that's for tomorrow. ¿Ok, okay. people? Have a very good night. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.